I mean, we were probably the fastest growing company in the country <laughs> last year. Building a successful business at scale is extremely difficult. And marriage with a young child takes an enormous amount of communication and patience. Combining the two seems impossible. But so far, Joe and Vanessa Ariel, the couple behind Pandemic Darling Gold Belly, are making it work. Vanessa is the chief product officer and co-founder of the company. And Joe, he just gave her a performance review. Can you imagine giving your spouse a performance review? I just remember being like, he's like, do you want to go do your review? I'm like, why are you so excited about this? <laughs> There are three numbers to look out for in this story. 5,000, the amount Joe had to bootstrap his first business. 200,000, the amount he raised from friends and family to launch Gold Belly. And 3 million, his first true outside investment. Here's how one man's love of food helped him raise $130 million for his startup called Gold Belly. For CNBC Make It, I'm Nate Skid. This is Founder Effect. Gold Belly isn't Ariel's first successful business. At just 26 years old with less than $5,000, he built Eats.com, which he says basically took restaurant menus and put them in one place. The premise was basically aggregate all the menus of local restaurants and let people be able to place takeout orders instead of having those menus like jammed under their door like in New York City at the time was kind of like uh, the typical thing. The site was a smashing success and he eventually sold it to Delivery.com for what he calls a life-changing sum of money. His newfound freedom allowed him to ponder the big questions like, what is the future? What is the future of food? What are the things I love the most? The thought of like the foods that mean the most to me are foods from my life, from my personal journey, foods from Tennessee, foods from places I've traveled. It struck me that you can't get the things that you love the most. I remember coming home, thinking about this idea for a few months and uh, actually sharing the idea with Vanessa. And she said something then that really like stuck, kind of a, a big uh, impetus for, for moving forward with, with starting Gold Belly. And it was, this would be the first experience that's in food and it's based on what you love, not where you live. Joe wasn't selling food. He was peddling nostalgia and the connection between emotion and food is something he felt he could build a business on. That was the magic moment or the aha moment where it's like, wow, if we could bottle this up and spread this joy and happiness and comfort through food, whatever you dream of, wherever you are, that's a magical idea that's worth spending your life executing on. Joe spent the next year and a half going through the ups and downs of launching a startup. Vanessa, a UX designer in her own right, had a front row seat into Joe's psyche. I thought it was crazy. The first time he told me the idea, okay, you want to ship food from Texas to New York. And he asked me, he's like, do you think people would like that? And I said, I think you would like that. But I also thought, this is something that's eventually going to exist. And why can't we be the, the people to build it? They cobbled together $200,000 from friends and family to get their idea off the ground. The site launched in February 2013, but it desperately needed restaurants to populate it. So Joe asked Vanessa to create a mock website, complete with well-known restaurants and logos, to take with him to food industry conventions. It didn't come off quite as planned. <laughs> I thought it was like the coolest thing ever. But years later, uh, they all would tell me stories about how they were like horrified that I had them on the site. They didn't know who the hell I was. Who is this kid pitching this crazy idea that's never gonna work? Nine out of 10 told me to fuck off. Joe is also having a difficult time raising funds from New York's investment community. I probably pitched every VC uh, in New York City and uh, was 0 for 50. Restaurants slowly signed on, but unbeknownst to Vanessa and his co-founders, Trevor and Joel, he applied to Y Combinator and somehow Gold Belly got in. Everybody put your shit in storage. We're going out to San Francisco for the next six months. Y Combinator forced Joe and his co-founders to focus on what matters, customer growth and providing a positive customer experience. So the Gold Belly team moved into a rental house in Sunny Hill, California and spent 16 hours a day working on the business. Then came the moment they had been waiting for. One day, uh, everybody's phone was blowing up at like seven in the morning, six, seven in the morning. And so we go online and it turned out uh, that Time Magazine named us one of the top 50 websites in the world. Four person company in our pajamas, <laughs> living together in a house in Sunnyvale, California. And uh, that was uh, kind of a key moment for us as a company. And I think a few months later, we, we closed on our seed round with Intel actually leading our seed round. Uh, and in some ways the rest is history. 
Joe raised $3 million from Intel and began sourcing some of the most iconic dishes in the country. From a sandwich at Permanente Brothers in Pittsburgh to brisket from Snow's Barbecue in Texas, he began growing his team and Gold Belly's presence on social media. Here's how Gold Belly works. Gold Belly has a curated list of restaurants and products that it offers on its website. It helps the restaurants find new customers while helping reverse engineer their food. And it also helps with the logistics of overnight shipping. When you're shipping food overnight or today, anywhere in the country, that is critical and the food is perishable, which means it can perish. So it's critically important that it's packaged right, that it gets there in a quick amount of time. For the consumer, it opens up the nation's favorite restaurants to customers willing to pay a premium for their food. By premium, I mean expensive. Gold Belly isn't cheap. A white chocolate coconut bundt cake from Doan's Bakery costs $109.95, with free shipping, of course. Our mission as a company is to deliver the world's most magical food experiences. Our mission as a company is not to deliver the cheapest commodity food experiences. It's not to deliver your lunch in 15 minutes. We want to tap into something different. The pandemic was good for business. Revenue increased by 300% in the first months of the lockdown. Gold Belly provided a financial lifeline for struggling restaurateurs. All of a sudden, millions of new customers who were at home and couldn't travel, who may have heard about what this Gold Belly thing was, but like, oh, that's crazy, I don't know, gave us a shot and fell in love. On the other side of the marketplace, chefs, many who historically would not entertain such an idea. David Chang, who, who called me like mid-pandemic, literally said, dude, always knew about Gold Belly, was maybe interested, but not interested enough. Now, chefs gotta throw out their ego and try new things. Today, Gold Belly works with over a thousand restaurants from all 50 states, shipping to millions of foodies all over the country. It has a team of 160, but there's no expectation the company can maintain its current growth. I mean, we were probably the fastest growing company in the country <laughs> last year. We recognize that the growth is not gonna stay the same, and that's okay. But I think when we look at the overall landscape of, of the country, of the world, there's a lot of people that love food. There's a lot of people that have now grown up watching food content, loving food stories, traveling for food. One of the things I always tell the team is the way you can tell if somebody is a true gold belly is have they ever traveled for food? But back to building a business with your spouse in that performance review. Here's how they make it work. She came from the design world, which is like beautifully set with chandeliers. Very nice, don't get me wrong. <laughs> but it's like, I can't even see that food sweating or the cheese melting. Give me a little of that food porn. And so we, we found a middle ground, I think, where it's like, it, it stayed beautiful, but it was a little bit of like, sweaty, like I wanna, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think that that is, that really sums up our creative the, collaboration. Our creative collaboration really well. It, it has just elevated my game at, you know, on so many levels that, you know, like I feel like I hate you and I love you sometimes. <laughs> uh -huh. The funny thing is, I was more stressed out for the performance review than she was. She was like ducking me and dodging me. And I was like, I'm really nervous about how this is gonna play out uh, for me. I just can't wait for one day for, for me to give you the a performance. Yeah, I wanna give you a performance review. She's on the board, you can. <laughs>